such great fun because you don't feel like a guitar like this owes you anything at all. You can just have fun with it. And if there's something you don't like about it, it really doesn't matter. It's not going to bug you. I mean, if you're a beginner and you like Stratocasters, you go and buy this because it's a fabulous little guitar. But just be aware that you will sound like all of your heroes. See what happened there. Again, f turn the volume down. Right, hi everyone, thanks for clicking through. Today we're looking at the Squire by Fender Bullet Stratocaster. Another highly affordable guitar for beginners. I'm not gonna say cheap too many times uh, in this review. I think I did that more than enough in the review of the Telecaster we did the other week, as somebody very kindly pointed out, thank you. So, highly affordable guitar from Squire, uh, aimed at beginners, clearly aimed at beginners. So let's have a, let's have a look and see, see what this is like. This is fresh out of the bag, fresh from the bag. I haven't tuned it, I haven't done anything with it. So you're experiencing this for the first time, as am I. So this is the HSS setup, humbucker, single coil, single coil. And this is a hardtail. So it's got no, no tremolo arm on this, it's a hardtail. And uh, we have noticed that it's a, it's a top loading. It's a top loading, so you can see the strings go through. Strings go through there. <sighs> Nicely coloured, so... What's that, Dimarzio's? Uh, Dimarzio's? Um, Diderio's? I don't know. I don't know my strings. Anyway, they look very pretty. Um, it's got a five-way switch, which feels okay. And uh, one volume, two tone. And we'll go through, I think it's a standard, probably a stra standard Stratocaster knob setup. See a nice weight, not too heavy, not too light. Feels, feels solid, feels robust, feels like a proper guitar. Not a highly affordable one. There you go. Squire logo stamped on the neck plate and the little sticker reminding you not to put it in a dustbin. Okay. Looks great, doesn't it? Black, rosewood fingerboard. Real nice satin neck. Great, feels great. Skunk stripe. There are those tuners again which we find to be more than uh, great, really. They work. Um, <clears throat> this, I just have a slight concern. I saw this. This little label here says, California Proposition 65 warning. Warning, cancer and reproductive harm. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, might have to look into that. Hopefully there's nothing to worry about. Um, you wouldn't like to find me guitars are giving me cancer. That wouldn't be good, would it? So, okay, so let's get the old QC label off and uh, put that aside. Let's tune it up and uh, see what it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. It's quite resonant. Sounds like a sounds like a Stratocaster already. They are unmistakable, really, aren't they? The sounds that they make. Okay. Right, we're back. The astute amongst you might have noticed I've changed the amp. I did have a Vox AC10 hooked up, but I've changed that now for Fender Hot Rod Deluxe with a Celestian Cream back in it, which is probably better suited to the Stratocaster. Um, so the Fender Stratocaster is a unique guitar in that it can genuinely unlock the tones of numerous famous, fabulous guitarists throughout history. It'll be interesting to see if this Squire Bullet can do the same. So let's have a listen, shall we? So here's the neck position.
in between E, you've got a... that and then in the middle position you've got your with the humbucker it's slightly different so so let's try something muck around with that enough of that. See what happened there. Again, fucking turn the volume down. Can't play. It's just... Ugh. These things... So you just play along and you don't notice that you gradually, gradually hit the volume control and it gradually turns it down. It's really annoying. I might, so, so like, let's so back to this guitar. So this, for 115 pounds, you know, it's great. I mean, if you're a beginner and you like Stratocasters, you go and buy this because it's a fabulous little guitar. But just be aware, that you will sound like all of your heroes and it's got all this annoying stuff in the way of your hand and your playing so they're not the easiest guitars to play um if if i was to choose the squire bullet telecaster is the one that i would recommend you go for if you don't know about guitars if you want a stratocaster this is a stratocaster it's a, a very highly affordable stratocaster for beginners or anyone that wants a highly affordable Stratocaster to you know as a, as a banger to have around to, to play to to take to gigs and not worry about it being stolen because you know it sounds like a Stratocaster and the pickups are clearly on the highly affordable side but they sound all right sound all right to me the humbucker I think is the weakest one to be honest with you the others so the you know the bridge Sounds nice on its own. The middle. Let's turn that. The middle sounds nice on its own. The humbucker. It sounds a lot more like a single coil, to be honest with you. It's a. Uh... But the great thing about a guitar like this is, you can, you can play around and change pickups very easily on these things. The scratch plate, it all comes off loaded with everything so you can it's very easy to to modify a guitar like this and and in fact i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna muck around and change some pickups and get rid of the knobs that are in our way and see if we can turn it into something that doesn't frustrate us constantly um but yeah um i'd you know for 115 pounds 
Uh, absolutely, it's, there's nothing wrong with this at all. I mean, it's, you know. This is straight out, I mean, I haven't changed the action. I haven't done anything to this at all. I haven't checked the truss rod even. I didn't sense any fret buzz. I can't feel any sharp frets. Um, and you can see I was playing right up on the 15th fret or, and way beyond that. And there was no fret buzzing. There was no choking. It's remarkable really, you know, because as I say, the parts alone will cost twice as much as this guitar. So it doesn't, you know, I do hope they're paying these people in Indonesia properly. Um, so there you go. Nice. Well, you know, apart from my frustrations with Stratocasters, that's not a reflection on this particular guitar. This guitar is great if you like Stratocasters. Um, I'm not sure I do like Stratocasters, but don't let that influence you because really I'm just a, an SG fanatic and an idiot. So um, you go your own way and if you like these, you know, or again, I mean, again, <clears throat> you know, it, it, it doesn't cost a fortune. So if, if you want to try it out because you like that sound, get one of these. And then, you know, if, if it doesn't gel with you, you, you know, you're not going to lose very much money on it, are you? So. Uh, great, Squire. I'm amazed at, at the the great the quality that you can get for very little money nowadays. And it's really been an eye opener. So, you lucky people, go and buy more guitars. The great thing about cheap guitars is you can you can have a dozen of them for what it would cost you to buy one. Not even expensive guitar nowadays. An expensive guitar nowadays is alarmingly expensive um, and a cheap guitar is alarmingly cheap so much fun can be had for very little money it's such great fun because you don't feel like a guitar like this owes you anything at all you can just have fun with it and if there's something you don't like about it it really doesn't matter it's not going to bug you apart from obviously the controls being in the wrong position but that's not the fault of this guitar it's Leo Fender's fault and it, I think he's got a lot to answer for, to be honest with you, that Leo Fender. He should have learned to play guitar, really, before he designed them. It's not going to go down well, is it? Mm -hmm.